Welcome to the Knife of the Month video series. Jason Jeffrey here helping you to choose and use your Cutco properly and better and so much more. So today we're going to be talking about uh, two knives that are into one. We call this the Santoku knife. The Santoku knife and the Petite Santoku knife or the mini chopper. A lot of ladies tend to like the smaller version, especially if they're new to chopping. It's about half the thickness of the larger knife and then it's about the same size handle as the trimmer and about the same length actually. The only difference is instead of slicing with things and not being able to use the whole blade, getting the knuckles, they're able to actually chop and dice and mince. And all the things you want to be able to do with a vegetable uh, tool. So if you are more comfortable with a larger knife, I would go with the bigger version. They're uh, basically just do more with the same knife. So that's about it. Uh, as far as these knives though, they're, the Santoku knife is known a lot by a lot of people as the Rachel Ray of chopping knives. It's kind of her signature tool, her, this particular style. It's a Japanese style knife originally, but the Santoku design is great because it's really good for, for dicing and mincing and chopping. Um, and you know, so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to make some guacamole here. And I'm going to do this pretty quickly for you guys. We have everything out here proportioned except the jalapeno. So we have the, um, and we're going to cut the lime a little bit too. The lime, we have cilantro, we have some jalapeno, a little bit of garlic, we have some tomato, and then we have the avocado itself. Let me go ahead and start out with the spatula sprayer to make a couple slices on the tomato since it's so soft. It's a lot easier to use a double the edge. Besides, we're going to use the spatula spreader on the avocado anyways. Um, so we're going to want to um, use it right now. That's good enough for now. And then we'll save that for a moment. I'll grab out the Santoku knife. I'm just going to show you that all you really need to do is go in like a V into the jalapeno and then you have what you need. So for those that want, and this particular avocado is quite small actually, so I'm probably only going to use um, maybe maybe about that, you know, if, it, if it's, this is about half the size of most avocados, so it's, it's a little bit smaller than what we're, we're going to be used to here. But So we've got that ready. Um, we'll take this small garlic clove, again because I'm a small avocado, just kind of get the skin off of that, smash it down, and you should be able to discard that quite easily. The skin off, and then we're ready to start mincing. So mincing is, is quite simple. You actually don't even need um, the, your other hand uh, for it. You can just kind of use one one hand to mince. Just moving up and down, really. Start out with the garlic here, make sure that's nice and separated um, first. Okay, and then we'll go ahead, we'll do the tomato. You can use your other hand like this to kind of hold the front if you want, it can make it easier. But people look at the knives like this and they say, oh, that's a big knife, that's dangerous. Well, technically I don't even need my other hand. There's no way I could possibly cut myself because I'm just moving this knife literally down and up, down and up, down and up, and just kind of moving it at different angles as I go up and down, to side to side, basically. We'll mince this cilantro up. And then, we're pretty much ready to start mixing it all together. I'll get this guy done too. For me, I just kind of like to throw it all in there and mix it. Sometimes I'll mince the entire thing all together just to save a little bit of time. But, uh, and then just go from one side through and kind of make sure your potato masher is not at elbow length. Um, away. Because it will get knocked over. Let's put this guy over here. You might be wondering, why, do you guys, why does he have a potato masher out? Well, you're about to see. So we've got this all ready to go. Let's take our avocado. And this guy looks like it's a little soft. If it was me, I would get probably a new avocado out. And you guys probably remember how I did this earlier with the, um, with the spatula spreader. I already kind of showed you guys how to do this, but you want to use the dull end. It's not going to cut you by going through, so it's a lot safer. And the spatula spreader can cut initially with the other end and then use the dull end. You just kind of squeeze and it all kind of comes out of there. Do the same thing on this side. Put the dull end onto to separate it. You just kind of squeeze all that in there too. You can't really necessarily mince the avocado as well. You get a lot onto the board. And so what I like to do is kind of just combine everything in here. The core of the avocado is good to keep. 
because it'll help to retain the color and make it last a little longer in the fridge if you don't eat all of your, of your guacamole. So, now that we have that all in there, get this prepped. I'm gonna save the lime. Never have too much cilantro. Can't really have too much water. And let's mash it up. So the great thing about the masher for guacamole is it makes it really easy to mix all the avocado and everything together. So all you kind of do is just go up and down. It's almost instantaneous. You're done with mashing your guacamole together. And then squirt some of this lime on here to preserve the guacamole. So if you do want to keep it from turning brown, the heart and the uh, lime will help to do that. So that's it for the guacamole. I hope you enjoyed the super awesome, amazing guacamole combination that I put together there for you guys. And that particular recipe, I will give some, a shout out to my good friend, Tom Sawyer. His real name is actually Trevor Sawyer, but we call him Tom Sawyer. And uh, thank you for sharing that with me years ago. Now, for the next month we have, or a few weeks from now, we've got a knife that mo many of you probably already own in your kitchen. It's a, a you'll learn a couple new things about it. I'm actually going to cut something. That, it's the best knife uh, in the entire collection, I'd say in the world, for the particular task that I'll be cutting on it. And half the people that have it don't even know that it's used for that. So I hope you enjoy that, and I hope you had a, a great, uh, oh, put a little salt on here too, by the way, right? Not necessary, but it does add a little bit of flavor to it. And um, hope you enjoyed it today, and I look forward to seeing you guys in a few weeks. Thanks a lot.